The Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes. Read by Michelle Ingalls. February 10th. Form within the formless. Our physical body is like other physical manifestations. The idea of body is an image derived from the fountain of all ideas. The form is a materialization from the substance of all forms. All bodies are made out of the same stuff. This one stuff is an inanimate and infinite stuff and is equally distributed in the universe, much like the modern idea of the ether of space. And it is the nature of this stuff to take form. Therefore, form is entirely in the realm of effect. Form comes and goes, but it is not self-knowing. Form is within the formless. Form is not an illusion, even when it is the form of disease. It then represents a false conclusion, but it is as real as it is supposed to be. If the formless did not take form, spirit would never arrive at self-realization. The formless takes form in what we call time. Time is a sequence of events in a unitary wholeness. It is a collection, attention, and anticipation, past, present, and future, simply the measure of experience. Of course, time is real, but never a thing of itself. If the timeless did not manifest in what we call time, it would never come to self-fruition. Therefore, we have form and time and what we call space, which is never a thing of itself, but the possibility of outline. If there were not such outline, we would walk through each other without recognition. Form is real as form, but is not self-conscious. It is subjective to the power that created it. Forms come and go, but the power back of them is changeless. Form is temporary but mind is eternal.